Right, hi there everybody. So, uh, so I'm in between clients at the moment. As you can see from my uh, massage table behind me, uh, I've just uh, finished um, treating somebody and now I'm on my way home. But I thought before I do that, I'll put together uh, a nice little, little uh, warm-up routine that anyone could do. It's a nice little limbering routine uh, that, you could, uh, that you could do maybe before your sporting event, whether that's athletics, um, football, cricket, rugby, uh, and the like. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to be working into the hamstrings, a little bit in the lower back, a little bit of maybe upper back as well, getting into the quads. So we're going to, it's a combination of forward bends, back bends, and twists. So it's a good general, general uh, full body uh, warm up. Okay, um, you might not necessarily need to do this uh, for, you know, for um, before a sporting event, or something that you could do maybe a little bit every day as well, just to keep you nice, nice and limber and flexible. Okay, let's begin. Okay, to come into uh, a nice wide stance like this, I'm going to fold the upper body forwards, drop the shoulders back and down, if you can still see me, and start to just bend one knee at a time. So you should feel just a little bit in the inner thigh. Right, so now start working into bending into the left knee, keeping the, the straight leg foot flat on the floor, and switch sides. back up, grab onto opposite elbows and fold the upper body forwards, drop the shoulders back and down, just allow yourself just to hang. Good, hands to the floor, push yourself up, twist to the right leg, and come into your first uh, low lunge. So pushing the pelvis forward and down, breathing in, and breathing out, pushing the pelvis forward and down, place both hands on the side of the front foot, good, breathing in, breathing out. So good, work with what you're comfortable with, if, you, if you're prepared to sit up, please do. Place your hands either side of your front foot. Place both hands on the inside of the right foot. Take, take a deep inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, start to relax the forearms down towards the floor. Breathing in. And breathe out. Sink down deeper and deeper. Breathing in. And breathe out. Dropping the hips down, shoulders down with every exhalation. Good, take another inhale. And exhale. Good, place both hands on the inside of the right foot. Tuck the back toes under. Straighten back leg. Rotate, face the front. This time, keeping the, the left toes up. Good, breathing in. And breathe out. So this is a different stretch now. Let's get this in. So a little bit of the hamstring as well. You take another inhale. As you exhale, switch sides. Drop the back knee down towards the floor. And out through those, good. Drop the hips down with every exhalation. Inhaling. And exhale, push the pelvis forwards and down. Place both hands on the inside of the left foot. Take another inhale. As you exhale, lowering the forearms down towards the floor. So 
with every exhalation, sink down deeper and deeper each time. I mean, you might feel a little bit of discomfort here, but don't, uh, don't push it to the point of pain. Oh, there's a police siren in the background. The siren turn, face to front, turn the hips to the front. Turn the right toes up towards the ceiling. View the stretch in the back of the right thigh. Doing switch sides. Bend it to the right knee. Twist. Elbows forward down. Forwards and down. This time, come into swan. Turn the right leg out. Drop the hips down. Turn the right leg out. Drop the hips down. Square your hips to the floor. Inhale and as you exhale, fold your upper body forwards. So ideally, as you square your hips to the floor, the right hip should drop to the floor. If not, that's a good idea to place a, place a block underneath the right hip. Breathe in, you should breathe out. Sink down deeper and deeper. Beach exhalation. Up, place your hands on the floor, extend through the elbows. Right foot, that's on the floor. And switch sides. So rotate your hips to the front. Turn the left toes up towards the ceiling. Moving on to the other side. This time, turn the left leg out. So turning the left leg out. Down. As you breathe out, fold the upper body forward. So ideally, left hip is on the floor. Square your hips to the floor. Place your left foot flat on the floor, pushing the pelvis forwards and down. Straighten the back leg. Straighten both legs. Fold the upper body forwards. Start to heel toe your feet closer and closer together. Until your feet are about hip, hip distance apart, fold the upper body forwards, grab it on your opposite elbows. And just allow yourself to hang here. In and breathing out, sinking down with every exhalation. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose, folding forwards. Feel free to rock from side to side. moment now just to relax into the back side of the body and breathe good 
Now this time, if this is available to you, start to spread the feet out as much as you can. I'm going to come a little bit closer just so you can see this. Start to spread the feet out as much as you can, only if it's available to you. Take the hips back, turn the toes up, very slowly walk your hands in between your legs, folding the upper body forward so just so you don't land with a big thud. It's really important to fold the upper body forwards if you can. If this isn't available to you, simply just sit on the floor with your legs apart. There you go. Good. So legs are apart, toes are pointing up towards the ceiling. Straighten up through the spine, drop the shoulders back and down. And very slowly fold the upper body forwards. Breathing in and breathing out. Folding forwards with every exhalation. So if you're not used to this one, you will feel quite a lot of discomfort in the inner thighs, a little bit in the hamstrings. That's fine, just take your, just take your time with it. I'm gonna be taking my time with it today. In. It's really important when you stretch like this to really listen to your body. It's more important to do a little bit every day than to really kill yourself one day and then not, not stretch for another three or four days. Very, very slowly, if it's available to you, just to just fold the upper body forwards. And when you get to a sticking point, just stay there. Up that back side to walk your hands close to center. Very slowly now, slide legs together. Feel free to go ooh, ooh, ah, ah, as much as you like. Okay, so this time I'm going to show you um, a spinal twist to end this all. So I'm going to demo it this way. So, right knee into your chest, cross your right foot your left knee I'll do it this way right foot to push your left knee so right foot across your left knee left foot next to your right hip like so both hips on the floor left hand grabs on to your right knee inhale straight up through the spine and as you exhale twist to over the right shoulder good breathe in breathe out twist breathe in breathe out twist good breathe in straight up through the spine breathe out Twist a little bit more. Go down again, inhaling and exhaling. Good, everybody. Switch sides. Both legs in front. Left knee to chest. Cross the left foot across the right knee. Right foot across the left hip. Both hips on the floor. Straight up through the spine. Right hand hugs onto your left knee. Good, inhale straight up through the spine. And as you exhale, twist it over the left shoulder. Good, breathe in, breathe out, twist, good, breathe in, breathe out, twist, good, as you inhale, straight up through the spine, and as you exhale, twist, good, one more time, inhaling, and exhaling, good, and back to centre. Okay, so that's a good, um, a good general routine that you can, uh, that you can practice anywhere. And I mean anyway, I'm in the middle of a park right now, uh, I'm surrounded by people. Uh, yeah, you can do that uh, in most, uh, most places where you have the office, at home, uh, just before a sporting event. Uh, just, just make sure you do a little bit every day and you'll see a difference in, uh, in your flexibility. All right, um, I look forward to hear, see, seeing your comments, hearing your comments. 
Um, if you want to contact me direct, my number is 07593 108 702. Um, my email address is info at maxstrengthholistics.co.uk and my web address is www.maxstrengthholistics.co.uk. All details will follow down below. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Until then guys, take care and goodbye.